guys, it's a Sunday. Uh, wife is napping, kids are under, under control. Time to, for some maintenance stuff. So, I have a free NAS machine there, and it's got all my life data on it, which turns out to be about 1.5 terabytes. And it's on two RAID drives. So, one of the WD Digital, they're actually identical. So, so in my mind, if they're more likely to fail together. But anyway, if one of them dies, I should have a copy of my data, but I don't have an off-site copy. Hence, I looked at at using FreeNAS's cloud sync feature to to back up to, to Backblaze. To be honest, I've used Backblaze before and I found them too slow. Fast forward to 2019, and again, it's just too slow. I'm getting like half a meg. I, bear in mind, I'm on a 10G line. I'm getting half a meg upload to um, Backblaze and Sac Sacramento from here in Singapore. That's terrible. I complained to my ISP. They they did a, um, what do you call it, a speed test, showing me that it's like, I don't know, a little bit over three mega, I should be getting a little bit over three mega second. And the fact that I'm getting half a mega second is, is a problem with Backblaze. And of course, I tweeted at Backblaze, you know, usual stuff, uh, you know, try this Windows or Mac client, you know, they don't really understand I'm running FreeNAS here. And try upping the threads, which I don't have an option to. So I thought it was a, a FreeNAS issue. And I did notice that I was running 11.1 .1 and there is 11.2 update. So today I did an 11.2 upgrade. And there was another reason why I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to upgrade because I was having problems accessing my Final Cut Pro library bundles from my MacBook, my wife's MacBook Pro. It's a gigabit uh, LAN that I have here, but I get this unsupported volume type. So the guy mentioned that the next update might have a better support. Anyway, I updated smoothly to 11.2, thank the Lord, because I only later, while looking at the forums, realized that a lot of people were having kind of bad experiences upgrading FreeNAS. So I was like, oh my God, thank God I didn't lose any data. But the bad news is, is that since upgrading, I have like less visibility with my cloud sync up to, to Backblaze, um, which is nowhere near completed. Like I've been backing up for a whole week and only done like a hundred gigabytes. It's a couple of hundred, nothing. You know, I have, I've only got 10% through my, my one, 0.5 terabytes or something like that. It's stupid. <clears throat> so that 11.2, the UI, yeah, it's it's um, it's worse <laughs> than the earlier version, and 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 also the the uh, what do you call it? The unsupported volume type dialog is still present with MacBook Pro, so I still can't use because I'm running out of space on my MacBook Pro all the time. And I have to, and I just have to offload it to the to the to the FreeNAS machine, but I can't access it over Samba, over a network share. And yes, eleven point two doesn't solve this problem. I also wanted to mention, so yeah, I'm not happy with Backblaze. I'm not happy with FreeNAS. I'm not happy with my ISP. <laughs> and, and then I got this this I saw this tweet from a friend, Colin. Hi, Colin. And Backblaze are putting up their prices. So now I'm thinking, backing up 1.5 terabytes, man. Why is it so difficult? Why is it so difficult to do that? I mean, I guess I should just buy a hard drive and stick it in a friend's machine. If any of my friends are willing to handle an R-Sync of mine, please let me know. Bonus home lab data hoarding question for you guys. So the way I organize my data is that I keep things in folders. So this one's from like last year, September. My fear, like say if this image got, um, I, I, I want these things to be basically static so that I can't change it uh, going forward. So how do you do that? And if I didn't have it static, for example, and I decided to corrupt this image, how in ZF terms do you notice that corruption or detect that corruption 
same thing, isn't it? Uh, or recover from that corruption. Yeah, so any tips, just let me know. Thanks. But anyway, yeah, um, free NAS upgrade 11.2, a bit scary. I mean, I guess it's one, I, you know, I feel for the I feel for the developers here because I think that, you know, they're struggling to to offer this product essentially for free. I mean, iX systems sell hardware, but like, and then, yeah, the Reddit thing is, wasn't very clever either. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. My free NAS Backblaze experience, not good. Any suggestions for improvements, please let me know. Have a happy Sunday. Hopefully it's not as miserable as mine. Please subscribe, like the video, all that jazz. Thanks for watching. Bye.